Hello everyone, I am Borugandi Rohit from NIT AP ECE 4th year. Today we are going to discuss about the translational and rotational properties of 2D DFT. Consider a 2D signal f of x, y of dimensions m cross n and let capital F of u, v be its 2D DFT. Then two dimensional DFT equation is given by f of u comma v is equals to summation x equal to 0 to m minus 1 y equal to 0 to n minus 1 f of x comma y into e to the power minus j 2 pi into u x by m plus v y by n. Similarly inverse 2d DFT is given by f of x comma y is equals to 1 by m n summation u is equals to 0 to m minus 1 v is equals to 0 to m minus 1 f of u comma v into e power j 2 pi u x by m plus v y by n translational property now let us look about the translational property translational property has two variations multiplying exponential in time domain that is frequency domain translation multiplying exponential in frequency domain that is time domain translation First, let us look about the frequency domain translation. According to this translational property, multiplying a 2D signal with f of x comma y uh, by an exponential term e to the power j 2 pi x u naught by m plus y v naught by n, shift the origin of the DFT signal to u naught comma v naught. Now consider the signal g of x comma y is equals to f of x comma y into e to the power j 2 pi x u naught by m plus y v naught by n. Let g of u comma v be 2d dft of g of x comma y. That is small g of x comma y and capital G of u comma v are 2d dft pairs. Now similarly as we seen above 2d dft equation is given by g of u comma v is equal to summation x equal to 0 to n minus 1 summation y equal to 0 to n minus 1 g of x comma y into x by minus j 2 pi into u x by m plus v y by n now substituting g of x comma y is equal to f of x comma y into u to the power j 2 pi x u naught by m plus y v naught by n we get the equation of g of x u comma v is equal to summation x equal to 0 to n minus 1 y equal to 0 to n minus 1 f of x comma y into u to the power minus j 2 pi into u minus u naught into x by m plus v minus v naught into y by m. Now comparing the DFT equation with the above equation we can see that g of u comma v is equal to f of u minus u naught comma v minus v naught. Hence we can see that the origin is uh, translated to u naught uh, comma v naught in the frequency domain now secondly we see the translational property in time domain time that is time domain translation conversely multiplying f of u comma v with the negative of exponential that is u to the power minus j2 by x naught u by m plus y naught v by n shift the origin of the signal f of x comma y to x naught comma y so let us look at the proof consider the signal g of u comma v is equal to capital f of u comma v into u to the power minus j 2 pi x naught u by m plus y naught v by n let g of u comma v be 2 d dft of g of x comma y now g of x comma y and capital g of u comma v are 2 d dft pairs now g of x comma v is given by inverse dtft equation g x comma y equal to 1 by m and summation u equal to 0 to m minus 1 summation v is equal to 0 to n minus 1 g of u comma v into u to the power j 2 pi u x by m plus v y by n g of x comma y is equal to 1 by m n summation m y u equal to 0 to m minus 1 v equal to 0 to n minus 1 uh, f of u comma v into u to the power minus j 2 pi x naught u by m plus y naught v by n into u to the power j 2 pi u x by m plus v y by n now solving this we get g of x comma y is equals to 1 by m n summation u is equals to 0 to m minus 1 mm, summation v is equals to 0 to n minus 1 f of u comma v into u to the power z 2 pi u into x minus x naught by m plus v into y minus y naught by n now comparing the id ft equation with the above equation we can see that g of x comma y is equals to f of x minus x naught comma y minus y 
this indi hence we can see that origin is translated to x not comma y not in the time plane now let us look at the rotational property of the 2d dm by using the polar coordinate x equal to r cos theta and y equal to r sin theta in similarly in frequency domain u is equals to w cos phi and v is equals to w sin phi we can see the rotational property and this rotational property is given by let f of r comma theta and capital f of w comma phi are 2d dft pairs and if in time domain if the image is rotated by alpha that is f of r comma theta plus alpha the same alpha angle will be rotated in the frequency domain that we get f of w comma phi plus alpha this indicates that rotating f, comma, f of x comma y by, uh, by some angle theta naught rotate the spectrum by the same angle conversely if f of u comma v rotates by an angle theta naught uh, in time domain also small f of x comma y will be rotated by the same angle now let us look at the above property by using an example consider this image and this will be the spectrum of this uh, original image uh, for our reference we took the top left corner as the origin in both domain let it be figure a and let it be figure b from figure a shows the sample image and uh, figure b shows its spectrum whose values are scaled between 0 to 255 the four corners have similarly high value because of the periodic repetition now to view the spectrum more clearly we can centralize the spectrum and do logarithmic transformation centralizing the spectrum can also be done by multiplying f of x comma y by minus 1 whole power x plus 5 after centralization we get this figure so c and d figure c shows the centralized spectrum and figure d shows the spectrum of the, after the logarithmic transformation we can see the rectangle is vertically large hence zero crossing in the vertical direction are very close let it let this be the figure and this will be the figure f figure e shows the shifted image with respect to figure a and figure f shows the spectrum of figure e which is similar to this shows that shifting of origin does not have any effect on the magnitude spectrum let this be figure j and this be figure h figure g shows the rotated version of figure e and figure h shows the spectrum of figure j which is rotated version of the figure d figure g shows the rotated version of the figure by this example we can image is rotated by an angle then its spectrum will be rotated by the same angle thank you everyone